Hello in German, I am Zgrancat and today we have just logged in to WC Supercard. We should have the new PLE cards. It says we have a Universal Champion SE card. Uh, to the winner of the spoils, a new Champion SE is available right now. Find collectibles in 24-7 and on the draft board. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Let's see what this is. There is an Extreme Bounty Breaker. Uh, there is a Code Road Rival, 5 Championship Tokens. So let's take a look at the Superstore. Oh, and there we have the brand new PLE cards. It is Bailey, of course, who won the Women's Championship. There she is, overlooking the city of Philadelphia. And, of course, we have the brand new Intercornell Champion. That is, of course, Sami Zayn. It looks like there's some lines that go across here, so I wonder if there's like some kind of animation for this once it goes off. Maybe the fireworks in the background go off. Maybe there's a little bit of something going on with the, the city there. So that's interesting to take a look at. Now let's see, what are these collectibles? WrestleMania, Undisputed. Oh my goodness. We've been saying for a long time that we want a title image. And well, there's there's few things more title image than this. Wow, I think I need a pro of this. Um, that is That is crazy. The last time we had something like this, that's that's really cool. So that's for 150 credits. For 125, it contains one of the following. You so you will get a red rooster, a bailey, or a coded roads. Hmm. So it's a little bit more gambling. You you need the 150 for the guaranteed, Cody. Uh, for 110, you just get a random WrestleMania. For 30, you get a bonus chance at coded roads. Oh, that's interesting. You can get five championship tokens for 250 credits. So let's see here. To get 50 would cost you 2,500. And then to get 150 would cost you 7,500. I mean, so long as this offer comes back three times, then you can get a guaranteed... Cody Rhodes off of that, but of course to get the Pro, that would of course cost you 1500 which is a tremendous amount. So this just gives you the bonus chance, a 4% chance to pull the Cody Rhodes. Hmm. We have invites only, which won't help. So let's see here, there's Extreme. We're just looking at the rewards here. Basic. Okay, we're going to play that. I'm just wondering how viable it is to get the code roads from Extreme Bounty Breaker. That's what's going through my head. In the Superstore, I'll be honest, I'm not that excited about the images for the Bailey or the Sami Zayn. I feel like they could have been made a little bit better, but I, I do really like this Code of Rhodes. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out then. So, what we've got to do here is we've got to get all the way to the end, to number 50, if we want to get our big old code of roads here. Now, I remember doing this in the past, and it can be quite expensive if you don't grab the peaks and the shields early. So, let's see. I don't think there's anything in the first... Yeah, but see, we don't really want those cards to be going up there. 
those are the things we want. We want the peaks and we want the shields. Because we need those to avoid the the gimmicks. Yeah, there's the hammer there. So I can keep going for 50 or I can just give up. We're just going to give up. We're not going to waste money from, like, round two. Uh, yep, I'm sure I want to exit. And that's why we don't play... Um, the Bounty Breaker. <laughs> I don't know if the extreme battle breaker is worth it either. What should ha happen is instead of this code road rival, there should be a way to get a guaranteed code roads that will show up eventually. Where if you buy all 10 packs, then you'll get a guaranteed code roads at the end of it. And generally, if you buy all 10 packs, it gives you a little bit of a discount. So I'll maybe go for that instead. But the tokens is not a horrible idea. Let's see, is there any other way? Okay, we've got 24-7. 24-7 is back. And let's look at the rewards here. So you get one championship token for one win. Yeah, you get a championship token. It seems per win. So we can just keep 24-7 going. Oh, from six you get two tokens. And then from 10 plus ones, you get three tokens each. Okay, so there's definitely a reason to play 24-7 now uh, if you want to try and get yourself that Code of Rhodes. So, this is looking tempting to me, the, the buying the, the championship tokens and just spending 2,500 to get 50 of them because I would really, really like to get a pro of this Code of Rhodes with the championship. So... I think I might try and work towards it. We've got 15 days to do it, 14 days and 22 hours. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to try and put in the effort, try and grab those and try and get that, that there, Core Roads. Let's go ahead and just do one of these little challenges. There I am, Triple H, stealing 24-7 championship from Santos Escobar, just as you would in real life. Grab the WWE Performance Center here for the 24 7 Championship. So let's go tag team. We'll put in the best friends of CM Punk and Tony Khan. I am well aware it's Joaquin Wild, but the hair is, does give a certain resemblance to Tony Khan. And then another tag team, unfortunately, these two don't tag together. So we're just going to have to try and do their best. We've called Rhodes and the Fiend. Okay, so long as we win this one, then we are fine. So let's put in... I really don't like the charisma there. Let's, uh, let's put in Rhea Ripley. Yeah, Rhea should win that. And there we go, Mami getting the, the victory for us. And there we go, the 24-7 championship has started. There is the win streak. Always remember to claim your reward. You won't get any more 24-7 matches. There we go, I'm going to screenshot that one. You won't get any more 24-7 matches unless you claim your rewards. So now that the, the reward has been claimed, I have to wait until it shows up. And the best way to get it to show up is to play something else. So Clash of Champions begins in an hour and 54 minutes and you can play Wild, you can play any of your PvP games through like, you know, uh, Raw or Raw Rumble or such. Um, or even just do Money in the Bank games. But like whatever you play adds to the chance of this showing up. So you, basically you just have to keep playing the game over and over and over again and then that will give you the chance to get those little universal titles and then you can get your very own Cody Rhodes. So let's all try our hardest and work together to try and get that championship Cody Rhodes. Uh, so I did mention earlier that it reminds me of previous ones. So I'm sure I do have them but it's probably easier 
to go through the card catalogue because I have forgotten whereabouts they are. But uh, Braun Strowman had one. Let me show you it. There he is. And what tier was this? It was elemental tier. Does it not go up anymore? Okay, well, I mean, I can find it. Right, so now that I know where it is, let's go ahead and go to males. And we want to go around elemental tier. Let's go like that. Wait for it to load, of course. This is taking a while. Very rude of W Supercard to not just immediately be able to load. And that is what we have to do. We have to sit there and wait for it. It seems to be ever since the update that any time you try and load something, like an older thing or something new, that it has to load and it has to take its time over it. So... There we go, finally. <clears throat> it took it a while, but we got there. So you can see it just at the bottom. It is once again loading. You can see that it is, it is frozen. It is thinking. It's trying its hardest. Okay, I think it's loading everything now. So, yeah, it reminds me of this... Universal title with the um, big old Braun Strowman. Uh, there was a Drew McIntyre one with the WWE title that I never got, which I was very, very annoyed at. But there was the NXT one for Adam Cole as well. And I believe that there's an NXT female one that I think is Asuka. So were they both elemental? No, that was WrestleMania. So let's go ahead and try out the females. We'll just do elemental there. And there we go. So it was Bailey and it was Asuka were the other two that you could get. I think there might have been a NXT one as well, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken. And maybe I never had that card. But um, yeah, the new belt reminds me of these ones. But those ones, I think, pale in comparison to this one that you can get. I think this is maybe the best looking one, the best championship title version of something that we've seen. I don't know what the pro is going to look like. I don't know what animation they can put on it, but I think this whole thing looks amazing, especially the, the little side plate here and then the American Nightmare coming down the sides. The whole thing looks absolutely awesome and I'm certainly going to be trying to go and grab that to add to my collection. So there we go, folks. That is it. There we go. We have we are done. So I really hope that you all enjoyed. And once again, if you did enjoy this little video, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.